More than 3,000 WZ 551s are in service with the People's Liberation Army, are used by medium mechanized infantry units, and become Beijing's most powerful motor vehicle force today. WZ 551 is used in transporting and supporting infantry combat in conjunction with main battle tanks and light armor vehicles, etc. Due to its extremely good strategic mobility, the WZ-551 force is very suitable for fast reaction military operations, fire support, and very strong rate ability. The WZ-551 project began in 1979 and officially entered service in 1995 and was the first square infantry fighting vehicle developed by China. The overall design of the WZ-551 is quite similar to the design of the French renowned VAB armor personnel carrier, but there are many differences in overall size, weight, and many other aspects. The name WZ-551 actually covers two families of vehicles with the official designations in the People's Liberation Army of Tab 90 and Tab 92. The WZ-551 first appeared in 1986, capable of being used for a wide range of roles, including 82mm and 120mm motor carriers and be armed with a wide range of weapons, including a 12.7mm machine gun, 25mm cannon, 90mm or 105mm guns. The vehicle has a total combat weight of 15 tons and a crew of 2 people with 9 people on board. The length of the vehicle is 6.65m, the width is 2.8m and the height of 2.89m. The hull of the WZ-551 is of all welded steel construction. The forward compartment houses a driver on the left, commander on the right, and gunner to his rear. The windscreens at front are covered with armor shutters during combat. The forward section is separated from the tube compartment by an airtight door. WZ-551 can accommodate 9 troops in the rear compartment. A large door on the right allows entry and exit of the troops. The vehicle is fitted with standard equipment, including NBC protection system and automatic fire suppression system. The two main variants of the WZ551 are the Tab 90 and the Tab 92. Early Tab 90 models used a 256 horsepower diesel engine. In the latest product, the Tab 92, the water cooled engine has been replaced by an air cooled version, thus, having better reliability, cross country capability, and engine performance at high altitude regions. The original Tab 90 was produced very little, only about 100 units. The popular Tab 92 is equipped with the French Z Industries one-man turret mounting a 25mm cannon and a 7.62mm Tab 86 coaxial machine gun. The turret has a full 360 degrees traverse with an elevation of minus 8 to 55 degrees. Ammunition load for the cannon is 400 rounds, with 200 rounds carried inside the ammunition cartridges, and an additional 200 carried in the turret. The gun can fire a single, three-round burst, five-round burst, or a fully automatic. The maximum cyclic rate of fire is 200 rounds per minute. The sighting systems are composed of three periscopes for a driver, commander, and the gunner. 
the central periscope for a driver can be replaced by an image intensifying periscope. The periscope for the gunner can be fitted with passive night vision device, providing limited night combat capability. Type 92 is powered by a Sherman Dios diesel engine, developing 320 horsepower. It is fitted with center tire inflation system and run flat tires. This infantry fighting vehicle is fully amphibious. On water, it is propelled by two water jets. It can be airlifted by Air 76 or a similar aircraft. WZ551s have been exported to Algeria, Bosnia, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Pakistan, and Senegal. <laughs>